It's definitely a polar no bear. No way, man. It's an elephant. Have you ever seen how fast a polar bear can run? Duh, help me out here. Well, I mean, the elephant definitely has size, and uh, I wouldn't want to mess with those those tusks. But as Dan said, the polar bear he's just got he's got speed. I mean, I've seen a polar bear run. It's crazy fast. So I'm going with the polar bear. Come on, I call bullshit on that. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Yeah. How'd that date you went on go? Could have gone better. Could have gone a lot better. Really? What happened? So, we decided to go to the movies, you know, standard first date. So we're sitting in the theater making adult chit-chat like, I hope this movie's good. Oh yeah, I heard it's supposed to be great. So the movie starts and it's a few minutes in. I figure I'm gonna try the old stretch of maneuver. So, as soon as I'm about to touch down, somebody starts getting chainsawed to bits on the screen. And two thoughts pop into my head. First off, I can continue the maneuver and try to play the part of the comforting guy. But the second is, she thinks I'm some sort of creep who gets off in dismemberment and I'm making my move. So what'd you do? I just sat there with my hand hovering over her shoulder with this stupid look on my face that made me look like a sexual deviant. Needless to say, she was completely creeped out. I'm probably never going to see her again. It's the worst date I've probably ever had. Ha! <laughs> you think that's bad? Then you better buckle up, son. I've got a story for you. So I'm out to dinner with a... Um, a Jen or a... Jess or... something with a J. Anyway, we're about halfway through the meal. Looking back on it now, I was a complete idiot and decided to order the mussels. At this point, they'd been sitting in my gut for a good 20 or 30 minutes. Then I say to Jay, How is your meal? Oh, it's delicious. Who would have thought that lobster bisque could be so good? And blah, 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 blah. Anyways, at this point, I've stopped paying attention to her because I'm getting a really crazy vibe from my intestine. It's all like, Dude, how could you? What you do to me? Jay's still talking, and I have no idea what she's saying. Then she says, How are your muscles? And just like someone flicked a switch, I started vomiting all over her. So we both kind of just sat there, staring at each other. I think it was worse for her than it was for you. How do you know? Maybe that's how she likes to get down, you know? Maybe she's a little freaking naughty. Uh, what? Anyways, I think my worst date trumps the two of you. I really don't see how. Well, let me paint you a picture, if I may. It was a warm summer's evening, and I was walking back to my apartment with my date Kaylee after a night on the town, and things were getting heated. Get on with it! Okay, God, give me a sec! So we had a couple drinks, and we're cuddling up in bed, ready to get it on. And then she says... Let me go freshen up for a minute. Um, okay. So she heads to the bathroom and I'm waiting there for her to come out. So I start to take my clothes off. So I start to get ready. She walks out of the bathroom wearing nothing at all. Something wasn't right. Oh, something was definitely not right. I looked at her. She looked at me. And there between her legs was a penis. I did what any sane man would have done. I ran out of there half naked with my clothes in my hands. Then after I ran about a block, I realized I ran out of my own apartment where there was most likely a pissed off transvestite waiting for me there doing God knows what with my stuff. So that's why you gave me all the stuff in your bathroom. Yep. Whatever, this is still good. Okay, I gotta say, that's pretty bad. I've never gone on a date with a tranny before. What about you, Carl? Any bad days that can top that? <laughs> I doubt it. Ah, uh, no, nothing like that's ever really happened to me. Come on, there's gotta be something. You can't have gone your whole life without being on one shitty date. Oh. 
Now, there's there's one date. So, ah, uh, okay, okay. I was uh, I, I was dating this girl Rachel. She's real nice, real great smile, and um, we're having this home cooked meal at her place, which I thought was pretty special. So things were going real well, and I was like, you should check out my awesome snake, Maurice. Sometimes he eats like three mice a week. It's awesome. And she was like, oh, Wow, you're so awesome and cool. Snakes rock. <laughs> so things are going pretty good. She thinks I'm awesome. When all of a sudden we hear this loud banging at the door and someone yells, This is the police! Then they just bust through the door. Now I'm sitting there like, What the fuck? And then he says, You're under arrest. And I'm like, well, I didn't do anything. And then he says, Not you, idiot, her. And I'm like, Her? Why? And then the cop says, this. And then he opens up this bin, and there's a body laying in there, just staring at me with his beady little eyes. So that's it. My date was ruined. I mean, pfft, cops, right? Just busting in people's doors, looking in places they don't belong. Oh, uh, by the way, I didn't uh, bring my wallet. So, you guys... Oh, did I tell you guys about the time I got caught doing it on the big screen at the Phillies game? Yeah, she... She did not deserve to be on the big screen. She was not pretty. But, she was... big, though. Um, oh, and there was that time I accidentally got roped into an all-male orgy and, and I, got, I got herpes, so I went to the doctor and they told me that I had super herpes. So I went to the hospital and they told me they couldn't help me out. So I went to a super herpes guy and he just gave me Advil or something. He wasn't very good. I found him in a back alley. I find, I find a lot of people in back alleys. Oh, and there was that time that I, I got herpes in a back alley. Yeah, that was a good time. I was drunk. <laughs>